Hello, I'm Mimi and today I'm really excited to take you along with me to the Bologna Children's Book Fair that I went to at the start of March and then at the end of the video I'll share with you the main lessons that I learned from the fair. This is the first book fair that I've ever attended so I wasn't really sure what to expect but I hopped on a plane from Australia and flew all the way to Bologna, got to have a stunning flight of the Alps along the way which is one of the most beautiful flights I've ever been on and I'm so grateful that I had a window seat for it. Um, if you have the budget to the right side you can assume the more normal seat which is uh, on the horizon just in a three block position maybe. But then I had to wait 5 hours in the airport for my delayed luggage, so you win some, you lose some. I eventually got out of the airport with my luggage and got to my cute little Airbnb which was perfect for what I needed for my time in Bologna. I had a spare day before the book fair actually started, so I spent some time exploring the city under a beautiful blue sky and I didn't really have any expectations of Bologna but it's such a lovely city to explore. There are covered walkways through most of the city centre including this one which is beautifully painted and the buildings are colourful and really layered so I could just spend all afternoon walking around and taking photos. I visited the National Gallery of Bologna for a little while because visiting lots of different galleries is something that I'm really excited to do as I travel to different areas of Europe this year. They're always so peaceful and beautiful and inspiring and even though I'm never going to paint in this style, I love to see the colour palettes and textures and just admire the craftsmanship of master artists. E quindi siamo costretti a fare tutto lo zigzag per gli stradini sì, centrali. Sì, sì. So on the first day of the book fair I actually met up with a couple of art friends from Instagram and we got a taxi to the book fair together and the taxi was a Tesla which was really cool. We were all excited to be at the book fair and pretty much as soon as you walk in you arrive at what's called the illustrator wall where illustrators put examples of their artwork as posters or business cards on the wall to advertise their work. This being my first time at the fair, I had no idea it existed, but Melinda and Chiara who I was with were much more prepared than me and had brought things to put on the wall. There are so many illustrators at the fair and it becomes very obvious very quickly what a small drop I am in such a large ocean of other artists which can be a bit overwhelming but honestly it's so cool to see all of the different styles of artwork on the illustrator wall and this was actually one of my favourite things at the fair was spending a bit of time each day walking along the wall and just admiring everything. Anyway, I didn't prepare very much for the fair because I was mostly coming just to take a look around for the first time, so I just put this tiny little sticker on the wall amongst the sea of art and posters. So then I could start exploring the fair. I thought it would be fairly big but even still it was much bigger than I thought it would be and it's really easy to get lost in the big exhibition halls. Approaching those commissioners as well and in that we're going to talk about some commissioner focused projects. First I wanted to go to a talk about AI art that was happening not long after I arrived. There are talks happening throughout each day of the fair on different topics, some are specifically for authors or for illustrators or publishers, so I went to a few of the talks for illustrators. Obviously at the book fair there are lots and lots of children's books to see and the thing that I probably did the most is walk around and look at lovely illustrations all day. I was really blown away by how many different styles of children's picture books there are that are all wonderful in their own way. Oh, it's embroidered. Yeah. Cool. Along with the physical books, there are a few exhibitions of artwork and again I was so inspired by how many different styles of art were on display. 
In one way, the book fair is quite overwhelming because there's so much fantastic art and so many books that if you're an illustrator yourself, it kind of makes you feel really insignificant and small. But at the same time, it really shows how much room there is for all different types of art. And if you feel like your art style isn't worth celebrating, then you only need to look at the range of art being celebrated at a fair like this to realize that there really is room for everyone's style to be celebrated. If you can tell a story with your illustrations, that's much more powerful than how developed you think your art style is. I especially enjoyed part of the fair that was for silent books, which are books without words, so all the storytelling is done with the illustrations. I think this would make for a great challenge or creative exercise if you were trying to improve your visual storytelling skills, is to create a short story without words and only use your visual language. Yeah, I like that one. There are lots and lots of publishers at the fair with their own stalls, mostly having meetings with other industry professionals, but there are lots of publishers who do portfolio reviews either by appointment or as an open session. I didn't do these, so I don't have any footage, but basically you can take along your portfolio to a publisher and have a five minute meeting with them where they'll review it and give you some feedback. And if they like it, they might invite you to email it through to them so they can keep you in mind for a published book with them in the future. I have to say though that my absolute favorite thing about the book fair was meeting up with other illustrators, some who I already knew from Instagram, but some people actually recognize me from my YouTube videos, which has never happened to me in my whole life. So that was really nice to see some of you guys. They're all wonderful people and beautiful artists. So I'll leave their details in the description below if you'd like to connect with them too. If you're thinking about visiting a book fair like this but aren't sure how to prepare for it, well a lot of illustrators spend their first time at the fair just exploring and then the next time come back more prepared or with a portfolio to be reviewed by publishers and do a lot more networking that time, which I think is a good idea because there's a lot to take in the first time you go. I had such a wonderful time at the book fair and can really recommend it for any aspiring or established illustrators. I had a ticket for the four days of the fair and went for the first three days for about four or five hours at a time and then felt like I had seen what I wanted to and was also pretty tired by then. I then had a couple more days to explore Bologna, so I went for another walk and visited the children's bookshop as if I hadn't already seen enough picture books for the week, and also met up for lunch and gelato with my new friend Anna, who is actually a patron of mine and saw me at the book fair, so that was really nice too. I also had some things to catch up on on my computer after spending a couple of days traveling and then a few days at the fair. So I spent some time inside doing some admin and checking in on my Patreon and things like that. After seeing so many picture books, I was in the mood for some drawing. So I illustrated some composition ideas in pencil in my sketchbook. I share these sketches on my Patreon as part of my illustration club, where each month we have a prompt phrase and do some brainstorming for that prompt, then draw some composition ideas and then create a final illustration from the prompt. The prompt for March was in the sky, so that's what these ideas are based on. So that was my week in Bologna for the Children's Book Fair. Here are the main lessons that I learned at the fair. There are so many different styles of illustration that can all be celebrated. Certain publishers might prefer a certain aesthetic for their audience, but there's room for lots of illustration styles. Picture books aren't necessarily about how refined your art skills are, they're about telling visual stories. Although there are lots of other illustrators looking for work, there are also lots more publishers than I realized who are looking for illustrators. If you're wanting publishers to look at your portfolio, book in portfolio reviews with them in advance. Some illustrators are going to several portfolio reviews a day, each day of the fair. Bring something to put on the illustrator wall and to give to people that you meet. 
people bring stickers, postcards, posters, business cards, anything that you can stick on the wall to show yourself off as an illustrator or hand out to friends and publishers to let them know how to reach you. Wear good shoes to the fair because you'll be doing a lot of standing and walking. And lastly and most obviously, the art community is full of amazing people so make an effort to meet up with other artists or authors whenever you can. The book fair was such a cool experience and I'm so grateful for you guys watching my videos because this channel alongside my Patreon is what allows me to go and do things like this. I'm really excited to be in Europe now and to keep sharing my art journey with you as I start this next chapter as a digital nomad taking my work traveling, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to see where I take my art to next. Also, if you'd like some additional help on your creative journey, then consider joining my community over on Patreon where you get access to my drawing tutorials, monthly illustration club, and lots of other goodies that I share each and every month. The beautiful Bluebell tier gets access to everything including a video lesson or drawing walkthrough video every month plus access to all of the previous ones and you can even browse the main articles and videos that are available before you join via the Patreon page on my website. I'll leave the links in the description below. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then I'd love it if you could give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already to see more art videos and help my channel grow. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.